Oh, oh my god, god, look at all that smoke! <gasps> is it gonna cook? I don't know. Is it burning? I don't no, know. Burnt. Ooh. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we're gonna be testing out TikTok food hacks. You guys know that I love to put things to the test and I love to eat. So in this video, I'm gonna let you know if these food hacks are good or bad. Now for the whole month of December, every single time that I post a new video, I'm doing a $100 cash giveaway to give back to you guys for all the love and all the support you guys always show me. So I do have to announce the winner from the previous video, so congratulations. Now if you do not win, bitch, don't worry because we still have like 10 more days till Christmas. So I still have a lot of videos to upload. But if you want to enter the giveaway for this video, it is super easy. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, go to my latest Instagram post and comment whatever you want and I will be announcing the winner in the next video so make sure to hit that bell so I can notify you every single time that I post a new video and without any further ado let's go ahead and let's get started with food hack and number one for food hack and number one as many of you guys know in and out has their famous secret sauce that everyone loves including myself not only does in and out have a secret sauce but apparently also jack-in-the-box has one and if this is true I'm going to be so shocked because I have never heard of it so let me show you what I'm talking about. Could I have some of the secret sauce? What is that again? Um, do you guys have like the secret sauce? The secret sauce? Yes. Okay, uh, just remind me of the window. Yo, they do have the secret sauce. I was like, uh -oh, whoa. Before I try the secret sauce and tell you what I think about it, I do want to say thank you to Current for sponsoring this portion of the video. Current is a mobile bank with a Visa debit card with free overdrafts up to $100 with no hidden fees and no minimum balance requirement. Also with Current, if you typically get paid on a Friday, now you'll be getting paid on a Wednesday. So you get paid two days earlier. Who doesn't want to get paid two days earlier? especially with like holidays around the corner like we all know Christmas presents can be a little expensive so my money two days earlier is not gonna hurt anyone another thing that I really like is that they give you instant refund on a gas station hold also whenever you use an ATM and you use your card they charge you a fee well with current they have over 55,000 free ATMs that you can choose from since we're talking about ATMs you know whenever you have to go ahead and deposit your check you're like oh my god I have to go all the way to the bank and I have to go to like the ATM not anymore because you can simply deposit your check by using the camera on your phone current is a real bank account so you can send money for free and it also works with apple pay google pay cash app and venmo now if you are not over 18 do not worry because they also have teen accounts and it is super easy to sign up it literally takes like two minutes and then they ship your card completely for free so if you want to download current i'll leave a link down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and download it and let's go ahead and let's try the secret sauce i am so excited to try this sauce because something tells me it's going to be good now whenever i pulled up to the I asked him again for the sauce because he did say like remind me at the window and he was like oh my god I'm so sorry we are like completely out TikTok is so powerful like when something hits TikTok like yo that is game over like it was so loud but thankfully he went to the back and look what they found for me secret sauce period okay we're gonna try this out cheers let's try it out I'm gonna have to pass on the secret sauce. I think I'm gonna stick to in and out secret sauce. That one tastes a lot better. Is the hack true? Yes, they do have a secret sauce. Now, what do I personally rate it? Maybe like a one and a half out of 10. I did not like it. Now, if you go to Jack in the Box and you try it, let me know. Or if you have tried it, let me know in the comments down below. What do you rate it from like a one and 10? But all right, guys, let's go ahead and let's go home and let's try food hack number two. Okay, for this next food hack, you guys might be a little familiar with this because in a previous food hack video, we cooked a steak in a toaster and well, that didn't go as planned. Oh my God. Oh my God. So this time we're cooking a steak with an iron. So let me show you how this is gonna work. So we're gonna be using 
a T-bone steak. We went a little bit fancy for today. We're going to take some of our foil. I want to say about this much. Bam, just like that. Ooh, we're this gonna better take, work because that's our dinner. We're gonna take some oil, drizzle it on top. Gotta add some flavor. Nice, even coat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it up and we're gonna do this, kind of like close it. Hold everything. Here comes the fun part. Flip it over and just do this <laughs> until it cooks. Can this possibly go wrong? Probably yes. Do you think Probably it's gonna yes. cook it? 50% yes, 50% no, because with the toaster, I really didn't think it was gonna cook and it worked. Comment down below if you think it's gonna work. Okay, so now it's just the waiting game. I'm gonna leave it on one side for 10 minutes, flip it over for another 10 minutes, and then I'll let you guys know if it did cook or if it didn't cook, so we'll see. One eternity later. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Smells good. That one's really good. Let's cut it to see how cooked it is. Ooh. Good, I told yeah. you. Look at all that blood. Oh, yeah, no. That's not how we eat our meat. We like it well done. <laughs> but don't worry, we're not gonna let this go to waste. Did this work? If like one day you're really craving a steak and like you don't have a stove for some reason, like and you only have this, then definitely give it a try, you know? But it's like 50. /50. We're gonna save this for our dinner and let's go ahead and let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Doesn't that look so good? Growing up, I used to eat bagel bites all the time, and until today, I still do. So when I saw that food hack that you wrapped them in bacon, I was like, we have to give this a try. Because it's basically like a mini pepperoni pizza with like bacon bites. I'm gonna take my bagel bites, and I'm gonna do one pack. We are going to wrap them. I know she did like a whole strip of bacon, but I'm only doing half, just because I love bacon, but I'm not like that big of a fan. I also already have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. I think I'm just gonna do a total of nine. There we go. Look at that. All nine bagel bites wrapped in bacon. Okay, so I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes, and then I'll see you guys once they're cooked. Okay, while well, the bagel bites are in the oven cooking, I obviously need something to drink, so for the next food hack, we are doing a drink hack. I kept getting tagged in this video over and over on TikTok, and I was like, say less, let's give it a try. Plus, it looks really good. Let me show you. Is we are going to take our baby bottle pop, baby bottle pop, baby bottle pop. Do you remember that commercial? Yeah. <sighs> I feel back. old. Me too. Same. If you're a 90s kid, you remember that commercial. You have to. By the way, if you're a 90s kid, like this video, okay? Let me know. So we're gonna take our baby bottle pop blue raspberry and we are going to pour it over the ice. We're gonna take our Sprite. We are going to pour it on top. Ooh. A little ASMR moment. If you haven't watched my ASMRs, you're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take some Gatorade. We are going to pour it on top. Ooh. What am I doing over here? <laughs> what kind of concoction is this? We're gonna take some gummy worms, some crawlers, and we are going to mix it. Let's try it out. Oh, <gasps> this is really good. Really? 10 out of 10. Can I try it? It's like. Mm. Right. It's so refreshing. It's so good. Oh my God, you have to give this a try. So I'm going to enjoy my drink while I wait for my bagel bites. I still have six more minutes, so I'll see you guys in six minutes so we can try the bagel bites. Bagel bites are ready, so I'm gonna take them out of the oven and we're gonna try them. Mmm. Oh, so good. Look at that, the bacon with the bagel bites, okay. And I also have my drink over here, so we're gonna try them out. We're gonna take this one. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Is it good? Be honest. Mmm. It's pretty good. It's not like, oh my god, amazing. But it's pretty good. Like it's, I'll eat this again, definitely. I will rate this a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. It's like nice and crispy, but it's not like I'm saying like, oh my god, like the drink. The drink was like out of this world. This one's kind of like all right. So I would rate it a seven out of ten. Okay, now we are going to move on to dessert, my favorite part. One layer Oreo cookies. 
14 ounces sweetened condensed milk, eight ounces of Cool Whip, one pack chocolate fudge cake. Don't mix it. One and a half sticks butter sliced thin. Bake at 350 for 45 minutes. Better than Oreo. I'm pretty sure you've seen that video all over TikTok because it has over 20 million views. Now when I came across this video, I was like, oh, it's just like a regular dessert video. But when she said, don't mix it, and she legit took the cake mix and just poured it on top, like no eggs, no water, like none mixing it, she just poured it in there, I was like, this is different. I wanna give it a try. So we're gonna take our Oreos and we are going to put them in the bottom of our baking pan. So just one like layer this. of Oreos. Yeah, one even layer. We're gonna take our sweet condensed milk. You're gonna take the whole can. And you are going to drizzle it all over the Oreos. Just like that. Next step is you're going to take whole whip. You're gonna take the whole container. This is eight ounces and you are going to pour it all on top. Now we're going to take the super moist chocolate fudge cake mix and we are just going to put it on top. No water, no eggs, nothing. <laughs> That's the weird part. Let's put it all on top and she said, don't mix it, we're not mixing it. <laughs> okay, final step, we're gonna take some butter. So you're gonna do this all over the cake mix. Once you're all done, it should look something like this. I don't know about you guys, but this just looks so wrong to me. Like, I just don't know how this is going to work, but I guess we'll see in 45 minutes. So we're gonna take this over to the oven. I already preheated it to 350 degrees, and we're gonna put it in here for 45 minutes, and then we're gonna see what happens. If it cooks, or what's gonna happen? A few minutes later. Okay, it is ready. We're going to take it out of the oven. If you guys could smell my house right now, it smells so good. Ooh, look at that right there. This, I feel like it's my fault, maybe because I didn't like spread the butter <laughs> that evenly. Looks weird. That looks suspicious. That we're gonna put it here. This kind of reminds me of like fried Oreos, but mm -hmm. like baked Oreos, you know? <laughs> it's really good. Really? Really good. It's definitely fried Oreos but instead of like fried Oreos in the oven. I have to rate this a nine and a half out of 10. It's really good. For this last food hack, we are making a Among Us pizza. So let me show you what you'll need. some pizza dough. I got this at Walmart. Pepperoni flour. You also need pizza sauce. You need some Alfredo sauce and mozzarella cheese and most importantly parchment paper. Now if you're really good at making pizza you probably don't need to do this but I am not a pro at making pizza so I have this stencil that I cut out from cardboard and this is in the shape of the Among Us character. So first things first is we are going to take our parchment paper. You're gonna take some flour. You're going to sprinkle it. Oh oven's ready. It's already preheating to 400 25 degrees you're gonna sprinkle some flour just so your dough won't be sticky now that we have that we're gonna take our pizza dough I really like this one because it's so easy to use you don't have to like be there with a rolling pin rolling it out it already comes ready to use so you're just gonna keep rolling it out until it's a flat sheet once your dough is nice and flat you're gonna take your stencil you're gonna put it on top of the dough Taking a butter knife, you are just going to trace it. This is super easy, trust me. If I can do this, you can do it as well. Once you're done, it should look something like this. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take the excess dough and you're going to roll it out because you're gonna use this for the borders around here among us. So it's really easy, you just roll it out. Make sure you roll it out pretty thin so that way it's easier. Once you roll out the edges, you are going to just press it on the edges and you wanna press it down so it can connect with the dough at the bottom. Bam, this is how our Among Us pizza is looking so far, but we're not done yet. You're gonna take your pizza sauce. So you're gonna add your red sauce all over the pizza, just not in the eye, because for the eye you're gonna be using the Alfredo sauce. Okay, next step, we're gonna take our mozzarella cheese, just like that. Last step, we're taking our pepperoni. So I'm only gonna put a little bit of pepperoni, but if you love pepperoni, then go all out and put as much as you can. Now, we are going to pop the pizza in the oven. I already preheated it to 425 degrees. 
and we're gonna put it inside for 20 minutes. One eternity later. Mm. That looks so good. It does. There is a imposter among us. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna cut a piece so I can try it. Or should I just bite it? Just, just like, bite the whole thing. Okay, let's just, let's just bite the whole thing. It's kind of hot, but not that hot. Ooh, that looks pretty realistic, huh? It looks yeah. really cool. Okay, let's take a bite. Ooh. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it good? It's just a pizza. Mm-hmm. It tastes really good. Like cameraman said, it's just a pizza, but I think it's really cool. If you guys want to give it a try, you guys should definitely try it out. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so I can notify you every single time that I post a new video. And remember, if you want to get paid two days faster with Current, I'll leave a link down below in the description box so you can download it. And do not forget to enter the $100 cash giveaway. I will be announcing the winner in the next video. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on.